Okay, hello team. So, hopefully the audio is not too bad on this and the picture because I'm recording it from a laptop so that's the first time I've done anything like that. We're going to do a quick little cardio blaster. It's going to be about three rounds, very short. It's functional body weight. All right, quite explosive, just gets heart rate up. We're going to do 30 seconds back to back with a 30 second rest at the end. I'm going to take you for a quick warm up run through the exercises and then we'll blast it. There won't be a warm down at the end of this so it works, it's nice and short and sweet. So, we start off getting warmed up, expand that chest. Good. Nice. And from there, widen the feet. Go down into your windmills, warm up the hamstrings, warming up the hips, warming up the lower back. Good, then a couple of leg swings. Just do one side, go five. And then change over. Good. Nice, then we'll go to those frog squats. That's a deep squat to extension. Just go five of those. Good. And press up position. You can drop the knees if you want. And just do three rotations one side. And then three on the other side. Good. Up on your feet. Just a quick bit of jogging on the spot. Get the heart rate nice and high. Sort of get those shoulders nice and warmed up if you need to. Get that heart rate right, nice and high. Good, a bit of a shake in there as well as warm the hips up. Lower uh, back. Nice, you should be good to go. So, we have got burpees. Now you can either walk them like this and stand up. You can do them without the press up, or you can do it with the press up. Then we've got toe taps, so that is on your back. Left hand to right leg only, just that one side. Turn across at the angle. Then we are into pulses, known also known as bear hops. So you can either be kneeling on all fours and do a quick, sharp quarter press up, or get the knees off the ground, jump. Right, nice and explosive. Watch the wrists. Then we're on to that other side. Be left leg, right arm, do those toe taps. Uh, then we're just running on the spot, you know what that is. And then we've got plank. So 30 seconds back to back, no rest, straight through it. So when we are ready, bang up some tunes, let's get going. So straight into those burpees. Break it down. Nice and sharp. Come on. Get the hard move done first. Get into those toe taps. So left leg, so left arm, right leg first. Diagonal. Breathe, try and keep that leg straight if that's too hard. Just do it to the knee. Do a really twist. Good. Into those nasty little pulses, so that's either on your knees, doing that, or get those explosive jumps. Push with your feet, push with your hands. Oh, a new one. Like I say, you can get the knees off and just little pulses that'll help press up strength. Oh, into the other side with the toe taps. So, left leg, right arm. Get 
a good rotation of the core in there. Good. On your feet, running on the spot, straight in. This was going to be six rounds, but I thought, fuck it, let's do three. It's a Saturday. If you want to replay this again, you can. That'll make it six. But maybe after the halfway point, three, four weeks into the program, we'll make it into the a six round thing, good planking, off we go, nice sharp plank, this is your active rest, keep it tight, Nice and tight, come on. Good, 30 seconds. Then we're going again. Two more times. So it's nice and sharp. Might do a little stretch at the end actually. With you guys, so you can run through the main things. Christ, those bear hops are hard. Now, put your wrists on those. Like I said, there's two variations you can do. Of three variations you can do, you need to do the explosive ones like I was doing, or you can do the little pulse press ups as well. Okay, off we go then. Burpees, let's go. This is round two, we've only got one more after this, so you don't have to kill yourself. You can slow it down if you want to, slow the movements down. Good. So there's toe tap, so right leg, left hand. Nice diagonal crunch. Make sure you meet in the middle. If that's too hard, do the knee to the elbow. As long as you're getting that twist in motion. Working the opposite obliques. Oh, bear hops. Three variations, like I say, knees off or knees down, little pulses or into the jumps. Straight into that other toe tap now. Right arm, left leg. Nice and sharp. Good. We go high knees. Slow it down if you want to. Come on. Eight seconds, one more round after this. Just got that plank to finish. Off we go. Nice and tight. Six rounds of this would have been hard work. Three will do. We'll get fitter first. Maybe week four we'll do six rounds. Good stuff. That is Seconds, one more round. Ooh. 
Good. One more round to go. So with this six week program, we'll do the six weeks, then we're gonna have a two week interval, then we're gonna do the hit hurt training like we've done before. So it's the 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off with uh, weights, body weight mixture. It'll be four days a week with a rest day in the middle, obviously your two weekend rest days. Then after that, we'll start phase two, which is another six week program, like the one we're doing, slightly different movements, slightly different arrangements. So we get that sort of active rest for those two weeks in between so we can maintain what we've gained. And then also build on it as well. Let's have a more upbeat song for this last one. Come on, where is it? Not that. That'll do, nice and intense burpees. Last time, break them down. You can walk them if you want to, and then just stand up. You can just do that, or if you want to do the full, put the press up and the jump. Slow it down, squat, back, press, knees, jump. Straight into those toe taps. Right leg, left the hand. Nice and sharp, last round. Nice bit of Saturday sweat. Good, come on. Good, into those nasty bear hops, let's go. So if that's too hard on the wrist, just into this core engaged, nice little pulse. You can do it with the knees up, do it stationary. Good. Into that other toe tap. Push for a last round. Come on. So those high knees. I'll accept just a jog. If you want to keep it light on the toes. Get a nice light jog if you want. Start winding down. Good, come on. That last move, nice sharp plank. Nice and sharp, come on. Last move, keep it tight. Deep breaths. Slow down that breathing. And drop. Ah, oh, nicely done. Woo. Beautiful. Get rid of that time. Nice. Look at that. Look. Woo. Fifteen minutes so far. Like I say, if you feel like that wasn't so bad, you want to do more rounds, that's fine. Replay this. Do what you need to. So let's get stretching, shall we? Just lower that, oh, straight in there the core, drop the hips. This one will be posted into the WhatsApp group, so you can access it whenever you want. I'm going to try next weekend to film 
something very similar to this but a slightly different one because you can chop and change if you think I've got energy in the tank but I don't fancy bur fucking burpees that's fine you'll be able to uh, do the other one which will be low impact so there'll be no jumping no high knees it'll be low impact sort of core based low impact full body movement it's all body weight again so you get the option if you want to have a nice high end explosive session you have you can Then if you want to do a nice easy session, low impact, just get the heart rate up, get the blood pumping, you'll have that option as well. It's always good to have a nice bit of choice, especially if you've gone heavier and harder in a week. You might want a low impact one, just for a bit of movement if it's pissing down and you're stuck indoors. Low impact session. Or like I say, you might want to do this, push yourself a bit more. Good, other side. Just about broke the sweat with that one, so. If you want to make it sweatier, just turn your heat up. <laughs> Get into that quad. Try and keep your balance. You can do this on the couch if you need to. There'll be a warm down video coming as well later. There'll also be a warm up video as well. Good. Nice and deep. You should try and get that so you're leaning right over into the underneath into that lower part of the glute if you can, right into that hamstring, down into the knee, keep the toes up, pointing up. Just see them there at the bottom of the screen. Oh, good. Come to seated. Just in your butterfly pose. Out in front, hands behind, puff out the chest, dip the heels in, bum towards the heels, keep that chest high as you can. Good stretch there in the chest and in those front delts. Really grip the mat behind you or the floor, whatever you've got underneath you. Yeah, just come seated, just stretch those shoulders. We're almost there. Good. On the shoulder. Got another bit of burpees on a Saturday. Hopefully the audio is alright on this. You've actually heard what I've been doing, not just seen it. First time I've recorded on the laptop, so hopefully that's gone all right. Let's just do the triceps, do the neck after this, and the glutes, and then you're free to run wild. Good, switch over. Good, just gonna get into that neck. So one hand down, straight, one hand there, and then just sort of turn away. You'll feel that go right down that side. You'll probably feel it in the bicep a little bit, all the way down there. Really good if you get a tight neck like I do. Good, slowly release, swap over on the side. Oh, all the good rock songs come on once we're finished. Good, last one on the glutes, so on your backs, figure of four. So lay flat your back, one leg over, so ankle on the knee, reach through the gap to grab there, other one on that knee, just pull. So as you pull, 
the leg that's crossed over needs to push back against it. You should be feeling that in the glute, into the sciatic nerve. It's really good if you've been sitting down all day. Releases that sciatic nerve. And then just simply swap over. Oh, that's one of my favourite ones this is. Gets into that sciatic nerve, into the hip joint. Super fullness. Into those glutes. Oh, beautiful. We are all good. Well done, team. Hopefully, this reaches you well. Have a good weekend.